guys welcome to saturday it's the saturday before easter i want to show you guys something i have to pull it up and read it because it's just easier for me all right so it's friday oh it's friday it's friday okay um so i'm going to show you guys this okay so today we are looking at this horse this is it a chestnut we are actually getting to look at horses it's shocking, but we're going to get to look at this horse, and I'll tell you what it says about him. This is him, you guys. He is a 14-year-old Irish sport horse who, in his younger years, was jumping at the Grand Prix level in northern Canada. He's a babysitter at heart and can take a joke. Uh, he's taken four other kids from walk trot to the 110 level. He's a babysitter heart at heart, can take a joke. Uh, his rider just bought a new horse, moved up. I messaged about one horse and the owner told me about this other horse that she had. So it's almost exactly like how I found Penny with this horse. So I messaged about Penny, about her other horses, and then she had Penny for sale. And so I messaged this lady about her other horses and then she had Billy for sale. So we're actually going to go and see Billy and try a horse and we're on our way. I'm just getting ready to go now. We're actually going in that direction anyways to visit Sam's family for Easter. So it worked out perfectly. We're going to go get to try a horse and he sounds lovely and wonderful and we're going to try. For Easter this year everyone we know are getting eggs. So I have this beautiful colorful egg situation here for Sam's family. No we got a bunch of normal We don't have any white egg laying hens. A bunch of normal ones. And an then extra large one. Extra large one. This is the one that I love. My hen lays this. And then an extra small one. And then an extra small one. Kid size. Perfect Kid for kids. Size. We should hide that outside for Easter egg hunting. We should give all those to my grandkids. We should hide these for Easter egg hunting and then they bite it. I should make like a whole dozen of super small eggs. This chicken only lays once every two days to get this baby. I just checked on New Finn, our new Finny boy, Phineas. And he is still in shock. He is shocked because he's in a new house with four girls. Y'all know girls can be bossy. So he's still standing by the door waiting to go back home. But he will settle in hopefully soon. So when I visit down, we stop to see Sam's great granddad. You guys have seen him. Or no, his granddad. You guys have seen him in other videos. He's the guy with... The big huge garden, the amazing garden. Do you guys ever notice like the days that you have family get togethers, your hair always comes out looking like this. It's like you wake up in the morning, you never have time to get ready because you have to drive. So we're gonna go have lunch with Sam's parents and they always make such an awesome meal and then we're gonna go see the horse. I'm probably not gonna vlog the horse. Um, I'm gonna video it for our trainer and send it for him to look at and see what he thinks. And we'll keep you guys posted. It's exciting though. So Sam's dad already growing his garden. Good Italian man. Already got everything planted. It's just waiting for it to come up. He even has it in here. I bet you those things are to protect it from the birds. Yeah, look at that. So cute. Well, Sam, I want you to make something like that for me for the chickens. Isn't it cute? Gabby says, is that an ice cream truck? Where is it? No, I just hear the music. <laughs> Wait, listen. That thing. I do hear music. I thought it was this, but let's go see if it's an ice cream truck. Okay, listen, do you hear it? Way over there, though. We're gonna have to drive by there on our way out. Can we have ice Because we do hear music. Gabby, my kids have never seen an ice cream truck before. No. Come on! There you are! Holy heck, you guys. Did you hear that? It's like a windstorm. No matter where we go, when we come home, the horses always run out to the car. They hear the car and they run out of the barn. I think they're like, holy crap. Did you guys hear it? Listen. I was calling you. We had to leave so early this morning. I don't think Sam did chores yet. He has to do it tonight. Hi. I was looking for you. So we came home. And no horse in the field. 
no horse came out of the barn looking for us. So I called Penny and said, Penny! And she always comes. No horse came. So I ran down to make sure that they were okay. <laughs> I ran down to make sure because it's like a crazy windstorm and I know that they'd be spooked. They get spooky. But you're all okay. Everybody's okay. I even left my purse just sitting up by the house. Oh, hello, teddy bear. We ended up not being able to go see the horse. When we came out of Sam Stanley's dinner, there was something leaking from our truck on the driveway. So we decided to try and go home because it was still like a bit of a drive. We decided to go home first. So Sam's going to get the truck fixed and then we're going to um, go back and see it. So it turns out that that's probably a good idea that we go back anyways because, because it's so windy, like such a huge windstorm. Things are blowing down. It's like incredible. It's crazy out there. Nobody wants to try a new horse in an awful windstorm. There are a couple of horses near us that we want to try as well. Um, and we're kind of waiting for this windstorm to, to go over. Even she said like she's not out riding right now today because of the storm. So we are home. Bella. And we didn't get to see the horse, but we are going to try. She said we can come back anytime. So if he doesn't sell, we'll still keep looking into him. Don't you know that you 